Adam Taxon here. I saw a story kind of randomly. Just uh, I was looking something up, and I caught the story about Jack Basovic, whom I know a little bit personally, Bumble and uh, the ADL. And uh, I'm not going to judge anything about Jack's personal life. They confirmed the app that it was him. You can Google that story somewhere. But I'm going to talk about something that's really concerning. Why is the Anti-Defamation League getting involved in dating apps and monitoring people's speech on uh, apps and program, you know, websites that there is an expectation of privacy. Let me say something about the ADL. I don't like them. It's not because an, uh, I'm an anti-Semite. Uh, in fact, I try to be an observant Jew, unlike just about everyone involved in the ADL. I will be observing the Sabbath tomorrow night, Friday night, and I keep kosher, very kosher. Uh, not maybe the highest level, but a pretty high level of kosher. The ADL, you know, I just want to explain to people, these are secular Jews, left-wing, liberal, not like people who actually practice Judaism. Now, here's the thing that people are talking about or should be talking about. This is in the, again, you can look up the Jack Posobiec Bumble uh, story yourself. I'm not here to talk about that. But you got to look up. Bumble has teamed up with the Anti-Defamation League. This is an update that they gave with the Anti-Defamation League to devise a list of keywords associated with hate groups that the company searches to weed out certain users. And uh, there's a reason I call the Anti-Defamation League the Defamation League. It, it's such what we call in Yiddish, uh, I don't speak Yiddish, but it's a Yiddish term I know, Shonda Fertigoyim. It's so embarrassing, the people who actually practice Judaism, that these people invoke Judaism and the Holocaust when they have no, it's simply a, leb, a left-wing group that is, you know, calling it about anti-Semitism. It's just to go after people on the right. I just want to go through, and i got to put my glasses on, uh, some tweets and things people wrote. Uh, Matt Semite, uh, I don't know him, and he's not verified, but I liked what he said. Don't give us about the rumors of Posobiec cheating on some app, but I do a care, care about Quotation marks. Bumble has teamed up with the Anti-Defamation League to weed out certain users they deem hateful. And then Matt Semite writes, The ADL is literally banning you from getting a GF if they decide you don't like Jews. Now, I don't know if that's necessarily true, and there are other ways to get a GF girlfriend, and Jack Posobiec, well, you can look up his marital status for yourself. This is what Ashley Ray writes. I thought this was good. Uh... Big separate issues with this Bumble thing. One, dating sites relying on the ADL to determine who engages in hate. Two, dating sites purging people because someone got mad. Three, dating sites potentially outing users by claiming real accounts are attached to their profiles. Now, they did confirm that uh, it was actually Jack Vasovic. Uh, I just uh, want to go through a few other tweets. Uh... It's a, quote, feminist dating app. What do you expect? Uh, there were some good things people wrote. Uh, go to church to find a wholesome girlfriend. Stay away from this feminist app. Uh, I chuckle every time I hear Posobiec being called alt-right. I'm sure it pisses him off to no end. And here's the point. But the ADL on every platform should concern everyone. The, and it has a Jewish star uh, icon. Speech code is in full effect. Look. The ADL is definitely associated with Jews, and it's definitely an objectionable organization. But I'm going to ask people, and you can, you know, do a search under ADL, Bumble, whatever for yourself at this point. My concern is don't associate people who observe actual Judaism, who tend to be on the right politically, by the way, with the kind of left-wing, what I call so-called liberals of, of Jewish descent. That's what the ADL is. Just try to make the distinction. I you have every reason to be pissed with the ADL about the ADL. I don't like them. I call them the Defamation League. I don't like these kind of people. That's really my point here. Uh, yeah. And someone, a few more tweets. Uh, Jay, I'm not going to, you know, it's not my guy, but I don't like to use his name colloquially, uh, just out of respect. He's alt-right, and they removed him for his politics. We've got some serious trouble coming. This person writes, I am more concerned that a com company is doxing its users. Is that even legal? Uh, 
And then someone else writes, the ADL is literally banning you from getting a GF if they decide you don't like Jews. Tinder does it too. And by the way, Jack Posobiec is very respectful to Jews. Uh, I can only talk uh, from the perspective of someone who's a Judaism observing Jew, but uh, so be it. Uh, and oh, I just, <laughs> why would a right-wing male, and one who's married, uh, use dating apps rife with whores, trannies, feminists, universalists, and other egalitarian trash, especially if the ADL is involved? Now, I think people need to know that the ADL is involved with Bumble, and so be it. All right, I've taken up enough of your time.